Hi everyone, welcome back to K-Drama Notes. There's a lot of news we have to cover, so let's get right into it. On June 1st, Hop officially announced that he had left Big Bang, the group he debuted with in 2006, and has been with ever since. Back in 2022, Top had revealed that he would be leaving YG Entertainment after 15 years with the company. At the time of the news, YG Entertainment also shared that if the conditions were right, Top would always be able to participate in future Big Bang promotions. However, in a new update, Top has now confirmed that he has withdrawn from Big Bang permanently. In the comment section under his most recent post, he shared, quote, I have already withdrawn. I've already told you guys that I'm leaving and I'm now facing a new chapter in my life since last year, end quote. When a fan asked if he had plans of coming back, Top replied with solo, meaning that he most likely has plans of returning as a solo artist in the near future, wishing Top the absolute best. Next, former Icon member B.I. has shared a heartfelt apology yet again for his past scandal during a recent press conference. For context, in 2019, B.I.'s drug scandal came to light after it was revealed that he had purchased illegal drugs, although he had never used them. Then in 2021, he was given a four-year suspended prison sentence, meaning that instead of going to prison, he is now on probation until 2025. However, in a recent press conference, B.I. was asked about his level of repentance, to which he stated, quote, I truly don't think there has been or ever will be a day that I've forgotten what I did wrong. I am so sorry to have disappointed everyone due to my wrong decisions and misjudgments. I am so sorry for causing trouble. I don't think I've actually properly said this, so I wanted to take a chance to extend my sincere apology to everyone, the press, the public, the fans, and everyone else, end quote. B.I. also went on to thank his international fans for their continued support throughout the years. He shared, quote, I want to thank them so much, the overseas fans. I myself am the most curious when it comes to why they love me and like me so much. What did I ever do to deserve such unconditional love? I'm always sincere, but I'm not sure if I properly convey that to them. I'm still not sure why people love me, but I'm trying my best to repay that love and find the answer." End quote. Since the scandal, B.I. has been working hard to rebuild his image and has garnered the support of many fans across the world, wishing him the absolute best as he moves forward in his career. Now, when getting a chance to participate in a video call fan sign or any type of fan meeting with your favorite artist, you'd expect it to be a sweet and heartfelt moment where the fan excitedly meets their bias. However, this wasn't the case for Enhype and Sunghoon after he was faced with a shockingly rude fan during a recent video fan meeting. In the now viral video, the supposed fan can be heard pressuring Sunghoon with some unnecessary questions, berating the artist while laughing about the situation with their friends. After the fan meeting, the fan took it a step further and used their alternative Twitter account to curse Sunghoon, stating that the other members were funny and that Sunghoon had made their mood sour. The supposed fan also pushed it even more and called the artist an idiot for not recognizing them. Naturally, Korean and international fans felt bad for Sunghoon and called the OP out for making the artist uncomfortable. Many netizens also compared the situation with the skit that Ives Won Young and Yujin did, in which they acted out a scenario where a fan acted in an inappropriate way when Yujin didn't recognize him during a fan meeting. What do you guys think about this entire situation? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Unfortunately, that wasn't the only inappropriate fan-to-artist interaction that's happened recently. It was also revealed that BTS's Jin allegedly received an unauthorized vaccine while stationed at a training center as a part of his military service. The reported visit was made in mid-January of this year by a supposed Sesung fan who was a nurse at the training center. According to reports, the nurse apparently drove about 30 minutes to where Jin was stationed, and on the same day, they administered the secondary vaccination against hemorrhagic fever to Jin at the medical office. Afterwards, the military nurse returned to her own unit and went around sharing that Jin was in much pain. At this point in time, Hype has not stated anything about this situation. Just a quick intermission, if you're enjoying this video so far and find it helpful, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the K-Drama Notes channel for daily K-pop content. And moving right along, Ahyun from YG Entertainment's pre-debut girl group Baby Monster has come under fire after a video of her using the N-word while performing at her school has gone viral. Netizens have stated that her use of the N-word is inexcusable and disappointing as a 16-year-old artist is apparently fluent in English. Netizens have also taken to Reddit to share their thoughts, with most of them saying that 1. K-pop companies need to educate their trainees and artists better so that situations like this can be prevented in the future, and 2. Some even commented on how artists under YG Entertainment are known for using racial slurs due to the quote, swag concepts that the artists are expected to showcase. And finally, others have even expressed that incidents like this have happened way too many times for it to be the company's fault and that it's the artist's responsibility to know better. At this point in time, YG Entertainment and Ahyun have yet to share a statement regarding this matter. 
Next, fans have also expressed their concerns after NCT's Mark was seen in pain at a recent concert in Thailand. During most performances, Mark was seen clutching his back in pain, struggling to perform comfortably. He was also seen holding his back during a post-concert livestream, leading fans to worry about the artist. NCT is known for their physically taxing choreography, and thus fans have voiced their concerns, as Mark is also preparing for the group's encore concert this week. We hope that Mark is able to get some medical help and some much-needed rest sooner than later. And now for much more exciting and happier news, the Black Label has just confirmed that Somi will be making her first comeback in almost two years. What type of concept do you think she'll be returning with? Let me know in the comments down below. Stray Kids has just accomplished an impressive achievement after 5 stars surpassed a whopping 5.1 million stock pre-orders on June 1st KST. At this rate, 5 Star could easily become the best-selling Korean album of all time, surpassing BTS's Map of the Soul 7. Another K-pop group to set an impressive achievement this week is no other than G-Idol with their new release Queen Card which has now officially become the fastest K-pop group MV of 2023 to surpass 100 million views, just taking 18 days and 6 hours to achieve such milestone. Congratulations to the girls of G-Idol! Now, are you a fan of podcasts and radio shows? Well, you're in luck. Seventeen's Joshua and Vernon are confirmed to be getting their very own radio show via Apple Music. More details have yet to be revealed, but fans across the world are waiting to know more. Are you excited to see this duo in action? What do you guys think their radio show will be about? And last but not least, BTS's RM has officially been appointed as the Public Relations Ambassador for the Ministry of National Defense's Killed in Action Recovery and Identification Organization. This organization, quote, recovers the remains of war heroes who have lost their lives in the Korean War and returns them to their families and loved ones. And just like that, we're at the end of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next one. Bye!